Hey guys, I'm going to be talking to you all about a serious subject today on this episode of Broker Tapes. So sit back and brace yourself. I have two clients down in nowhere, Kansas, a very small town. It's not obviously the real name of it. Uh, but he is 72 and he's paying $177 a month for his Medicare supplement. And she is 70 and she's paying $125 a month. Uh, same company, so they have the household discount on there as well. And both are plan G's. And I had reached out to them a few weeks back to try to get an updated list of their prescriptions um, so I could do their annual review and see what drug plan they needed for next year. Um, but they don't want me to do the drug plan anymore for some reason, and they are just going to have their pharmacist do their drug plan, apparently, she said. So that's kind of frustrating, but it's not too big of a loss, obviously. I don't get paid that much money for the drug plans anyway. But she actually called me back and was reaching out because she wanted to switch supplements because they're paying so much. And I got their updated list of prescriptions because I was going to need that anyway to um, go through underwriting, obviously, for different companies and see um, which plans and companies I can get approved for. And he had, the husband, got prescribed in a new... Um, I was a new metformin. It's like a metformin. A new diabetes medication because he has type 2, type 2 diabetes and so does she actually. But he was prescribed that medication within the past, um, just in the last two months I think they said. And have, being prescribed a new medication in the last year is sometimes worrisome for certain companies. But it depends on what type of drug obviously. But with his prescription, with this new prescription, he is now on three three different pills for his diabetes. Next step is going to be insulin. They're probably going to have to put him on insulin soon. And she, without me asking you know, why, obviously, because I don't ask why, like, why did you get a new prescription for this? Obviously, it's because they're unhealthy. <laughs> and she just naturally was saying, yeah, and you know what, Colin, honestly, I know that he shouldn't be on that, but with the whole lockdown, the whole cor coronavirus quarantine, um, she goes, we've just been eating more crap, more junk food, and not eating as healthy. So I just wanted to make this video to remind all of you that your health is the most important thing in life. And I wanted to make this video to implore you and beg you to stop killing yourselves. I talk to so many people, and they just kind of joke and laugh it off. Yeah, my blood sugar is going up. I have, you know, I have diabetes now. Um, yeah, I'm on another blood pressure medicine. Yeah, now I'm, they moved me from overweight to obese. Um, you know, I'm still smoking even though I just got diagnosed with COPD or emphysema or whatever it is. And I talk to so many older people that just do this and have this lack of care and lack of, I guess, accountability for their own health. I still to this day have not figured out why they do it. And I don't understand why humans in general have these self-destructive behaviors that they know are harmful for them or they're doing things that they know are literally killing them, but they continue to do them anyway. So please stop killing yourselves, guys. Please be healthy. Don't use the excuse that diabetes runs in your family if you have type 2 diabetes. I heard a joke a while back that it's not that type 2 diabetes runs in your family, it's that no one runs in your family and you're just unhealthy, and that's why you have diabetes. Type 2, at least, obviously. So, I don't know why exactly I'm making this video, but I just felt super compelled to because I'm so sick of seeing people, they're paying for it literally with their insurance. Their insurance is super high, and when they're unhealthy on their plan with Medicare, then the more unhealthy people that are on that plan, the rates are higher for everyone. Um, and then people just get so mad at the insurance companies. Oh, the companies are raising our rates and all this stuff. Well, if you're healthier, then they wouldn't be raising the rates of everyone by as much. 
if you stop smoking, you could get a non-smoker rate too. That's another thing. This guy, this guy was a smoker. Um, I guess I'm honestly just sick of all these excuses. Um, not even excuses. I'm sick of this complacency. You guys need to take charge of your health. You know, you're in control. Your health is the only thing. You have one life. Well, depending on what religion you are, I guess. You have one life in this body and as your person. And you got to take care of yourselves. So that's a little rant for today, I guess. And if nothing else, if not for your health, um, do it for the money. Because if he was healthy, then they could both switch and get onto a plan where instead of $177 a month, he'd be paying $129. And instead of $125 a month for her, she'd be paying $105 a month. So it's literally about $68 a month in savings that they would have in their pocket at the end of each month if they were just healthier and took action and took control of their health and of their diet and of their lifestyle. Not to mention then they could probably get a cheaper prescription plan because they're on less prescriptions and then obviously the less prescriptions they're on the less co-pays they have to pay for their prescriptions because they don't have as many and it's not as serious of drugs. So if not for your health do it at least for your wallets guys. Being healthy saves you money overall. It saves insurance companies money overall. Um, and you just have a better life. Better quality of life, I guess I should say. Your life could still suck. <laughs> but at least you'll have more energy and live longer. So, thank you for tuning on to this episode, guys. Sorry it was so dark and glim. And this is just a subject that I'm really passionate about and I get very upset about. Because it honestly is a full... A full situation because if our country was healthier in the long run I'm not gonna go into all the details on how obviously but in the long run our economy would be healthier and insurance companies would not have to charge people as much money and you have one life <laughs> like like come on but I'm just gonna stop there I could go on and on so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Please like this video if you haven't already. And if you like this content and you like seeing me along my path of building my insurance agency from scratch, then hit that subscribe button. So thank you for tuning on and I'll see you all tomorrow.